Hey, welcome back to my channel here at Mind You Guys with Tea Guys. Today we're going to see exactly what message do you need to know at this time? What truth? Okay, so stay tuned. Before I go ahead and start this message though, I want to thank everybody who has subscribed to my channel, who has joined my Patreon, okay? Like in my Patreon, guys, I'm literally going to be uploading exclusive content and you know you definitely gonna want to find out that kind of forbidden tea is what i'm hearing okay this patreon i'm uploading forbidden tea um so if you'd like to join you can always do so by clicking the link in the description box or in the pinned comments and thank you everybody for your donations like booking readings with me all the abundance that you're bringing me this channel and just overall thank you for just loving the maji gang okay so let's look into exactly what readings what messages you need to know at this time i mean you need to focus because like right now my mind wants to say a thousand million things all at once so there's a reason for you needing to declutter your mind maybe even your house okay all right let's see what's the uh collective message here I'm hearing something is coming your way. Okay, there's some sort of blessing. Something big. Something big. An anointing. All right, let's see. Stay tuned, okay? So I'm going to be using um, my Chosen Ones Oracle deck, 144. If you're seeing this number, it's a huge sign that you need this deck. But this deck is very specific, okay? It's going to help activate those of you who have ancient wisdom that need to be activated, reactivated. This is going to help you activate your third eye, connect to your higher self, life purpose, especially if you feel like you're chosen for bigger things and you're a light worker healer. Okay, one more thing. Okay, two more. So we got, okay, we got a couple cards here. Um, you have psychic powers, clairvoyance showing up. Okay, something about your courage here. I'm hearing you have strong psychic abilities. Okay, and if this is you, claim in the comments below, I have strong psychic abilities. I am a powerful clairvoyant because that's really what I'm feeling for you. You know some secret truth, even maybe about the Sphinx I hear for someone there of the Pyramids of Giza. Okay, then we have work with crystals. So at this time, you are being encouraged to work with certain crystals that are calling your name okay so that they can help you during this period of transformation because i'm really getting like you're going through a big big transformation right now and your intuition you'll know this is your reading because currently right now your intuition is telling you that you are under psychic attack okay your intuition is telling you that someone around you is doing some form of magic spell work curse towards you and to be even more specific this is how you'll know this definitely is your reading march 3rd i just heard for someone but it's you feel clairvoyantly like your intuition telling you that it's family members around you people that you know your bloodline okay evil family members here that are really trying to do some form of spell work in your life to stop this transformation and rebirth that you're undertaking right now so you are being encouraged to buy a certain type of crystal i strongly um would recommend black tourmaline black onyx amethyst okay especially if you are activating more and more your psychic abilities this deck is very powerful for you highly recommend it okay so let's see what's going on here because we clearly have some people doing spell work on you. You can feel it, okay? This is definitely your reading. And if it is, don't forget to like this video. Share it with someone else who you know needs this urgent message I'm hearing, okay? So we have luck, right? The four-leaf clover. Shout out to my Irish descendants here. Um, the number 19 could be significant for you. You could be a fire sign. I'm getting like, there's an energy of you. You're letting go of a lot. You're letting go of a lot of things. And as you're doing so, it's attracting a lot of abundance towards your life. April 18th could be significant. You're on the path, okay? You're on a path of strength. Somebody comment below. I am in a path towards strength. But not just any strength. Your strength. Your power. As well as your discovery of your weaknesses. But I feel like specifically, you're having a lot of luck right now. That even what you think is your weakness is really brave it's really courageous it's actually very um uh what was that word i was gonna say not fiery but yes that too just very intimidating thank you it's like your weaknesses are becoming quite intimidating to the enemy 
So this might be why they're trying to block this luck that you're manifesting in your life. Because right now, Spirit is saying, listen, there's a lot of opportunities ahead. And I am going to be using tarot, but you can see the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. The Ace of Pentacles is saying there's definitely a new opportunity of abundance, a financial gain here. I'm hearing success. All right. Comment below. I am blessed. I am lucky. But I am getting a very big lucky opportunity or opportunities are just going to begin to come into your life. OK. And this is why I feel like you might be under attack. OK. Then we have the sun, Leo energy. And I heard exposed. OK. Even people in the past that you let go of are going to be exposed on whatever harm they were sending your way. But right now, this is like a very important time for you because this transformation is allowing you to open your heart to believe in magic, to believe in yourself, to believe that, in fact, maybe you are very lucky and you were always born lucky. Somebody comment below, I was born lucky, okay? Or blessed, whichever key term you like to use for yourself. But there's an enormous prosperity coming to someone here. An enormous amount of abundance and just like a very major opportunity once in a lifetime even i'm hearing eminem lose yourself this could be music related for some of you but it's a very big opportunity that's coming and sunflowers might be significant right now there's a lot of flowers you got uh 40 clover sunflowers so a lot of like um the seeds that you planted right they have blossomed they have harvested now so you can you know, start to harvest all of the seeds of thoughts or seeds of action and progress that you took towards your life. The 30th could be significant in your life as well. But the sun speaks about happiness, um, growth, and also illumination. So a lot is being like exposed to you, but I also feel like you are too. You're feeling happy. You're feeling like everything is working out in your favor. And it is. And if you really feel this, you can comment below to affirm this. Everything is working out in my favor, period. It's like you're in alignment with this proposal. Like I said, it's it's a very big lucky opportunity, your lucky break. But um, I feel personally like this is business indicated. But for a very few of you, this could be also love related. Okay, there's a proposal coming through. But I feel like there's a an angel that's helping you, a guardian angel that's helping you manifest or bring forth something that you've been quite patient about while learning. An opportunity that's going to be very beneficial for you. And it's business related or it's just it's just going to make you feel like the luckiest guy in the world, the luckiest girl in the world, the luckiest human being in the freaking galaxy. OK, and if this is you, comment below. I am the luckiest human being in the galaxy. And as I said that, we have the Empress Libra energy with the Ten of Cups. So, again, it's like you're going towards your happily ever after. And you really like I said, there's this energy of um, abundance with the empress okay speaks of fertility so like i said those seeds that you've planted are fertile now they're they they actually they already grew you know they're ready to be harvested um i also feel like you're embodying this feminine energy of attracting what you desire rather than chasing it so it's like this effortless energy of you manifesting right now somebody comment below i effortlessly manifest what i need or what i want and you're bringing in this huge miracle, actually, is what I feel like a very big miracle, something that's going to be so, so big that only only God can bring this kind of blessing is what I'm hearing. OK, and you're going to be able to witness it. Others are going to be able to witness it. That is God who sent you this blessing, this reward. OK, this anointing, as I said in the beginning of this reading. And so you're going to be blessed with uh, a wife. If you're watching this and kids and a family for a female watching this you know you're gonna be blessed with the husband and kids and a family if you already have kids and you're married there's like a renewal there's a lot of joy that's coming for you guys to travel together to do things together um, I also feel like with the with this rings there's this big commitment that's coming into your life for you to finally like settle down and have a family for sure it's like, that's it. Because you wifey material. Somebody comment below. I'm wifey material. I am the empress. Period. <laughs> okay, so that, there we go. We have the seven of swords. Okay, somebody's trying to steal your divinity. They're highly competitive. They're trying to steal your, I heard divinity. Somebody comment below. No weapon form against me shall prosper. You cannot take my divinity or my anointing. 
Did God not literally say, touch not my anointing? Okay, so even if they're gossiping about you, they should not be doing this. Because the chosen one, you can't be doing that. And trust me, you chosen. So there's something that they're stealing here. This energy of them doing something sneaky, like I said. This could be the spell work, but it's like, it's definitely family, guys. It's a very strong message of family. Even if it's not your straight immediate family, it could be, let's say, your husband or wife's family or someone's family here, okay? But I'm hearing it's a family member. That's as much as I can do. If you like a more specific reading, you can definitely book a personal um, in my website, mygigatatea.com. I am getting 7-7, so that could also, July 7th could be significant, 77 could be significant. I'm also hearing for some of you, unfortunately, this is like a mother figure you might even find out something about your birth and your mother maybe like that person not being your true mother or that person not being your true father or sibling but you are being protected you are being protected there's this energy of like i said this anointing and blessing that god is bestowing to you no one can touch somebody comment below no one can touch my anointing no one can touch my blessings lift the star aquarius you're a star you're a healer here and that's where all the hate is coming from. Like people around you want to make you feel small. They want to dim your light. There are also people here trying to do spell work on your body. I'm hearing because you're so beautiful. Like you're so hot. You're very attractive, handsome, however you want to put it. But like you are. And like I said, you have this energy of like when you walk in a room, you stand out a lot, but you're quite bright. You shine basically. You shine. You're a diamond. Comment below. I am a diamond. And you're, you're, you're like, um, what's that? Out of people's leagues. Thank you. You're hard to reach. You're reaching for the stars also, I'm hearing. But there's this energy of somebody around you or several people around you that are like, not only trying to dim your light, but are also trying to drain you of your magnificence. Let me see what the seven of swords is, okay? But be careful. Trust your intuition was the first card saying you're psychic. You're clairvoyant. Okay, look, the Page of Swords. They're gathering information about you. They're investigating you. You might actually be feeling like, like you're spied on. Even, even as you're sleeping or in the spirit world, you might feel like you're being stalked or spied on. Cancer energy here. You're heading towards success. You're making movement. Somebody here just purchased a new vehicle. Could have been a yacht. Could have been a boat. Could have been a car. Um, I see if you are a star, let's say you're an influencer or in the public eye, I really do feel like there's also a major collaboration coming towards you where a lot of people are going to have their eyes on you. But um, going back to that family member thing, I feel like you are definitely the chosen one, but you're also the one that's intimidating. You're the one that's the healer. Comment below, I am the healer. I am the goddess. I am the empress. I am the one. They feel it. They know. They know. So they're kind of like finding out anything that they can about you with the high priestess. Somebody comment below. Mind you got the tea. God hire me. Who gonna fire me? Exactly that energy. Like God literally is about to put you in a position of anointing here. Something quite magical. And it's like nobody gonna take that from you. With the high priestess in Pisces here. Excuse me. Look, the devil on the bottom of the deck. I, I feel like I said, they're kind of like trying to get your Akashic records. Um, information about your north node like your your chart your birth chart your sidereal chart as well um i'm also hearing they're getting tarot readings on you they might also just be watching other people's youtube channels to get the tea on you okay because maybe they can't afford to go to a psychic but i am getting like they're they're working together here with a psychic or a high priestess, high priest. There's an opportunity coming. That's all I can tell you. An opportunity that's that you're chosen for. It's written in the stars for you, basically. And no one else possesses this amount of illumination for this particular position. Uh, tell me more about the Seven of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Something with the intellect. This could be an air sign here. Maybe have you been feeling like somebody's messing with your thoughts, your words, your throat chakra, Taurus energy, the Hierophant. Again, there's this energy of you being um, 
a teacher, a mediator, a mentor. At least this is how you're being viewed. This could also be somebody doing something to your marriage or so that you never get married or if you're married so that you guys have trouble. But with the Hierophant, this is always like my personal card that describes God. And so I feel like you've been given some sort of keys. You've been given some sort of position of authority. Um, and a lot of people look up to you. I hear you're very smart, but you also just have spies. There's something here that's not right. And I don't know. I keep seeing pages. So this could be relating to children or siblings that are younger than you. Again, there's this like something backfired. There was something blocked either physically, spiritually that was sent to you. It was, I'm telling you, you didn't see it, but your ancestors, your spirit guides saw it and they sent it right back. So right now these people, they're dealing with a tower moment right now. Shit is not good right now. Trust me, you do not want this fire. You don't want this smoke is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing your ancestors tell these haters, you don't want this smoke. Somebody comment below, you don't want this smoke. Woo! Let's go. Eight of Swords. That's why you might feel like restrained or something. Um, or even like, I don't know. You might just not be able to see things clearly right now because there's this energy of, um, somebody just keeping you tied up to something like you're not free like making you feel like this illusion like you're not free like you're not ready but you are you're more than ready you have a calling here yeah there's a witch here working on binding spells on you this person may have a black cat but this person is quite witchy Definitely it's a feminine energy. It doesn't have to be female, but just feminine energy. And you might feel like that's why like out of nowhere, you might get hiccups. Very specific message for someone. Out of nowhere, you might just get something out of the blue that just makes you, maybe even you feeling blue out of the blue. I don't know. You can let me know in the comments down below or book a personal reading for more insight. But... Even though there's a major opportunity coming towards you, you may not actually see it, but it's coming. It's here. It's a proposal, a business proposal. For a very few of you, it's romantic, but I'm really getting its business. And it's big. It's a big blessing. I'm also hearing like you're going to become more confident in yourself. This could be you buying a new home. Or um, owning some sort of property or working in, re uh, not retail, but, um, fuck. Owning property. What's that shit called? Real estate. Like, fuck, man. Only <laughs> Let me try not to be so frustrated. But you might be feeling this frustration too, honestly. We got justice though, right? The scales are being balanced. Somebody coming below. Whatever they wish for me, they about to get back. I am justice favors me could be another affirmation because truly it is. And with Scorpio energy here, I feel like all that is being washed down. You're letting go of old beliefs of other people and you're going to be moving fast now. Things are going to start moving fast if they were ever delayed. Okay. I also heard sibling rivalry. This could be that family member. We'll, we'll get to more tea. So stay tuned. Awakening ancient wisdom, okay? So there's something within you that is emerging um, that's going to really make you realize, like, hold up, I don't deserve this piece of shit. Like, I, I need a better life. Like, I don't deserve these people, you know, not, not giving to me what I give to them, not respecting me the way I respect them, standing firm. You're standing in your power. This is the seven of wands to me, okay? Somebody comment below. I stand in my power. You're standing firm. This is not a shake ground no more. You're going to know where you're headed. You're going to know what to do. You're going to know what to say. Okay? Because right now you're standing in that bravery and strength that you have, which is amazing. And I feel like God is really helping you stand true to yourself, to who you are, your ancestors, your guides. It's like you're awakening for someone here. You're awakening a past life memory that's going to let you know that you were royalty in a past life. Okay? Okay? But there's most definitely a fresh start here that is blossoming. Beautiful. Uh, let's see what else. Let me use the uh, Evil Eye deck here by King of Aloha. Those cards don't 
on the left there. How are you, Maji gang? Sending you so much love and light. I hope you guys are doing well. Remember to keep your head up and never lose faith, never lose hope. That's what I'm getting. Like the, en the enemies around you want you to lose hope, even though they see you as a star. Okay, do not give up. Remember, you are shining. Even, even when you don't feel the glitter. Oh my God, I love that. <laughs> Somebody comment below. I am shining even if you don't see the glitter. Uh, even if you don't see the spark. Even if you don't feel that spark. It's in you. It's happening. We have manifestation works. Okay, so somebody's trying to manifest you in their life. This could be people from the past. This is definitely confirming that binding spell. I was feeling for a few of you here. It's like they're trying to make sure that they... Um, restrain you from using your true not personal power, your true natural power, because they know that once this chosen one awakens to their true power, whatever they're going to do will be enormous. Comment below. Whatever I do is enormous. Like it's big. It's not little. You, you big things popping. Okay. You make big things popping. I'm getting like, there's a specific female here who is doing beauty spells on you, okay? They keep staring at themselves in the mirror and just finding, like, parts about them they wish to look like you. I'm also getting that very weird, but it is occurring. Then we got Backfire, guys. Somebody comment below, Magic got the tea, because this is, all these other cards are just um, confirmations to what I said, okay? Whatever was sent to you has, what was backfired to them. It was a failed attempt. Like, don't mess with me, touch not my anointing, not uh-uh. That shit going right back to you. Oh, you sent me dark energy? Then, darling, you don't know who I am. You don't know who Maji Gang is. And all that shit is being sent back. But look, last card says completion, baby. It's over. The energy work done against you, the spell work, the witchcraft, the whatever the fuck was sent to you, all that is done. It's over. The spell is broken. Somebody comment below and affirm this to yourself if you're feeling all this freaking psychotic, psychic energy coming towards you and attacking you. Okay? Because this is a spiritual warfare kind of life. This is here every day. Comment below. It's completed. It's done. The spell is broken. And all that, that they sent to you. That could have been for years. Eons. Past lives. All that is being sent back. It's backfired. And it's no bueno. This shit is not bueno, amigo. Uh-uh. Okay? So let's get a bit more info here real quick regarding this family members. Let's see what you need to know. Why this evil family members? Anything else the collective needs to know? karmic friends coming against you and i said amigo which means friend okay so again this is um i heard for some of you it's your brother but this could also be a karmic friend okay coming against you a karmic ex lover coming against you because they're gonna watch or they're already watching your dreams come true okay look at all that celebration like your wishes are being fulfilled comment below my wishes are being fulfilled i am achieving I am celebrating. This is the energy somebody is here. And if this isn't you, then this isn't you. And this is a timeless reading. It might not resonate with you now, but it might resonate with you later. Something has backfired with the police here. Somebody here has some legal connections with some cops. They try to do something to you. Now they're gonna need that. Now they're gonna need somebody to bail them out. That's the karma. Okay, they might actually end up in jail because they're messing with a divine feminine, divine masculine. We got Pisces energy here, and somebody here could be from Texas, North Carolina. I heard Dakota. We got lying. Somebody needs to stop lying, says spirit. Okay, they need to stop lying to your face. If you're having trouble sleeping, spirit does suggest to drink some tea. Try some herbal tea. Try a healthy lifestyle. Okay? Try to do something that's going to raise your vibes. And you need to be selective of the people around you. Okay? Because most of the people around you, they're not who they say they are. They don't, you know, they don't really show their true face. And they clout chasers. Somebody here wants the green light. But yeah, like I said, they're trying to ruin some sort of property here, car, home, furniture. They're trying to cause some type of destruction, vandalism in your life. For some of you, this was somebody that you had a sexual connection with. Somebody between the ages of 40 to 50, very specific, but don't have to be. And then we have royal lineage. There goes the clarification again of you knowing that you come from a royal lineage or you having like this dreams from a past life where you were like a queen or a king or a freaking... um. Uh, 
prophet or pharaoh it wasn't you it was me see they try to frame you for something but now it's backfiring that's the lesson here this is not gonna touch you they can't touch you it's something's about a backfire you don't need to know specifically what it is they might not even tell you but know that they will suffer for this and if god wants you to witness he'll let you witness but justice is coming towards you okay so this is my message to you guys i really hope that this message resonated for you brought you all the love and insight clarity that you needed today thank you so much for watching sending you love and light